Uh, so LeBron James uh, either gets too many calls in his favor or gets no calls in his favor with the NBA. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, in the most recent uh, sweep of the first round series in the Eastern Conference against the Detroit Pistons, uh, he didn't get really anything called. Uh, 15 total fouls called against LeBron James in the four games in itself. But Tyron Lue made an interesting comparison because uh, when Shaquille O'Neal was at the height of his career, he was strong. Again, they always say, never had the footwork of Tim Duncan, but do you need the footwork when you literally are well, bigger <laughs> and stronger than everybody in your path? Not really, and Shaq proved that. So here's a quote from Tyron Lue on LeBron James. He's the Shaq of guards and forwards. He's so strong and so physical. When he goes to the basket, guys are bouncing off of him. Those are still fouls, but he doesn't get that call because he's so big and so strong and so physical. We used to tease Shaq all the time about soft fouls. He said, listen, if I pinch you, it feels the same way when you pinch me. No matter how big I am, it feels the same. I never thought about it like that. That's kind of how LeBron feels. I think more than anything, it's not that they give him a lot of calls against him in terms of a lot of people being physical towards him. The only thing I would say is they may be a little bit more lenient and allow him to get away with charging fouls because he is so big. That's So I don't see, when I'm watching LeBron James, I don't see the referee constantly blowing up about LeBron when he's complaining about an and one or anything else. I see them in a situation where I'm like, oh, he might have had a little bit too much contact there driving yeah. to the rim. I see them just being like, oh, he's so big. I mean, any guy would fall with him running towards him like that. He's not necessarily charging. He's just a big human. Yeah, uh, look, I think in today's NBA, they call everything. Like, they actually call everything in comparison to 15 years ago in Shaq's age where they really didn't call as much. And if you really want to send, uh, treat yourself, go to, like, 1980s games and watch those. They really call nothing yeah. that are, like, at least in today's league, the games would have been much slower. Uh, so, Bill Simmons tweeted out at least the stats on LeBron. He was 18th in minutes. I love when LeBron complains about foul calls. This season he finished 18th in minutes and 145th in personal fouls. The point Bill Simmons is trying to make is that uh, you, he's played the most out of anybody, basically 18th in minutes, and he doesn't get as many calls. Uh, and the question really becomes, do stars get better treatment? Uh, I've actually never truthfully believed this in its entirety. Uh, I think because we focus so much on stars, LeBron, Harden, Curry, that when we watch the games because the camera is on them so much more and because every replay that involves them is used three times as much as any other replay of any other player, it just seems like they are getting better or more calls in general. Yeah, but I also think that it depends on the type of player that person is, is is they a naturally physical player I mean I, I remember watching uh, the Broncos a lot last season and Akil Talib was one of the most physical defensive players I remember seeing and a lot of the time he would be kind of let off instead of, like when he was trying to interfere with play but that's because he was so physical the referees find it I think American sports in particular uh, the NFL find it hard to differentiate between what is a foul and what's not like the rules are basically so cloudy that right. a sport like that is hard to differentiate. Right. Oh, did he have contact before the ball was thrown? Did he hit him just as he got it? That's where it's a little harder. But with the NBA, I do think that they're, uh, I agree with what you're saying, is there's so much focus on that player naturally. Like, it, whether or not um, it's anyone else on the court is fouling uh, more than anyone else, they're still going to have the camera focused on LeBron James. They're going to, someone, Draymond Green, runs and bombards into someone, knocks him out of the stadium. They're going to pan to Steph Curry and see his reaction, right? Because of course, of they want to catch the biggest stars, their reaction. So I do think it's partly because of that. And fans of the game will naturally jump on that bandwagon. Oh, you know, LeBron James, you always see him commenting on everyone else's fouls. It's because the camera fucking goes to him and shows you. Yeah, it's a, that's a great point because, yes, it's not just LeBron. It's everybody on that team. Kyrie, Kevin Love, look at the look at the Blazers. They do the same thing. I saw Damian Lillard barking the most I've ever seen Damian Lillard bark at a ref in games three and in games four. I, I mean, people were like, well, Damian Lillard, he never barks at refs. He never yells he at would them. would if you focused never, on it more or look, if the camera was on him. Just take a step back for a second. Anytime you play pickup basketball and you feel you got fouled and you call it and it creates a fight on the court. Yeah. If you feel you got fouled, you're going to say something. That's how this works. But so, uh, and by the way, what kind of started this whole thing in general about LeBron James getting beaten up? Here's a screenshot because here's Andre Drummond putting an elbow into LeBron James's head. I don't care who it is. Who it is. If it was LeBron and a no-name, or if it was Drummond and Kyrie Irving, it doesn't matter. Take a look at the screenshot, because when you watch this in real motion, which I'll leave for you in the description, he literally threw a flagrant elbow at LeBron and nothing was called. Yeah. Did LeBron sell a flop afterwards? I don't know. But did what matters is the point of impact. Drummond, it's off ball. 
And yeah. Drummond comes in and shoves his elbow. Drummond's a good player, in my opinion. I don't think he's a dirty player at all, but that was a dirty play. And LeBron has the right to complain about that. If it was LeBron James, if it was Brian Scalabrini, if it was Michael Jordan, it does not matter. If you get hit in the head with a flying elbow, you have the right to say, that's a foul. Why aren't you calling it? And then everybody jumps on the, oh, there's LeBron. Ah, oh, suck it up, LeBron! Come. <laughs> <laughs> But so I wanted to throw this quote out there. Kelly Dwyer from Yahoo Sports I thought made an absolutely fantastic point. And uh, I'd like to read his words on LeBron James and uh, just in general a lot of NBA fans in particular. Is Tyron Lue angling for his particular star? Of course, especially with a series of strong and active Atlanta or Boston defenders waiting in the next round. But nobody of sound mind and those that blindly root against NBA stars just to be that guy and are rarely soundly sound of mind could have watched his turn against Detroit last week and come away thinking LeBron James was being called correctly. Preach, brother. Preach. Preach. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, that's kind of what it is. Do stars get calls? That's, and, and that's, I think the focus is too much on them. I think, if, I think just to test it out, if we had a game, which, by the way, ratings would plummet, that, hey, let's, okay, it's the, a healthy Warriors versus a healthy Cavs. But the cameras are not allowed to go on LeBron, Kyrie, Kevin Love, Draymond Green, Steph Curry, or Klay Thompson. At all. You're not allowed to see them. At all. You don't think you'd be seeing Andre Iguodala? You don't think you'd be seeing Matthew Della Vadova barking as much as any of the other players? You're insane. Yeah. Do you think stars in general get favorable calls? And if you can see this little box down here, you can click that. Why am I so bad with mirrors? You can click that <laughs> box right there and subscribe. It goes a huge way. We have appreciated uh, the ton of support that we've had. We just surpassed 270,000 subscribers, so that is unbelievable. Big ones up top. For more of Clint Brown and Doc Stevens, that was our two alter egos we gave each other in another clip, make sure to subscribe. It goes a long way. And also on social media, at Francis underscore Max on Twitter, Jason Rubin 91 interact. Do you know what? I've been getting basketball questions thrown at me now. <laughs> Give me another one of those. Give me another one. Next up, we're getting baseball. Wait. Never. Hit us in the subscribe button. Hit us in the DM if you must. Come back to TYT Sports and we'll see you soon.